Ancient Mesopotamian religion is among the earliest recorded religions in the world, and it has had a significant influence on many later religions. Mesopotamian religion was polytheistic, meaning that it recognized many gods and goddesses. However, over time, the religion gradually evolved, and there were attempts to consolidate the pantheon of gods and goddesses into a single god. This essay will examine the evolution of Mesopotamian religion from polytheism to monotheism. Polytheism in Ancient Mesopotamia The earliest Mesopotamian religion can be traced back to the Sumerians, who inhabited the southern region of Mesopotamia around 4000 BCE. The Sumerians believed that the universe was governed by a group of powerful deities known as the Anunnaki. The Anunnaki were responsible for various aspects of life, such as the weather, agriculture, and fertility. The Sumerians believed that these gods and goddesses could be appeased through various rituals and offerings. The Akkadians, who conquered the Sumerians around 2334 BCE, adopted many of the Sumerian religious beliefs and practices. They also introduced new deities into the Mesopotamian pantheon, including Marduk, the god of Babylon. The Babylonians, who succeeded the Akkadians, continued to worship Marduk and added him to their pantheon of gods. The Assyrians, who emerged as a dominant force in Mesopotamia in the 9th century BCE, also had a polytheistic religion. The Assyrians worshipped many of the same gods and goddesses as the Babylonians, but they gave them different names. For example, the Babylonian god Marduk was known as Ashur in Assyria. Despite the differences in the names and attributes of the gods and goddesses, the Mesopotamian religions shared some common beliefs and practices. They all believed in the existence of a hierarchy of gods, with the most powerful gods at the top. They also believed in the afterlife, where the souls of the deceased would be judged according to their deeds in life. Attempts to Consolidate the Pantheon As Mesopotamian religion evolved, there were attempts to consolidate the pantheon of gods and goddesses into a single god. This was a gradual process that took place over many centuries. One of the earliest attempts to consolidate the Mesopotamian pantheon was made by the Akkadian king Sargon I in the 24th century BCE. Sargon I declared that the god Marduk was the most important deity in the Mesopotamian pantheon and ordered that all other gods and goddesses should be subservient to him. This was an attempt to unify the various city-states of Mesopotamia under a single religion and to strengthen his own authority as king. Another attempt to consolidate the Mesopotamian pantheon was made by the Babylonian king Hammurabi in the 18th century BCE. Hammurabi introduced a set of laws known as the Code of Hammurabi, which included many religious laws. He declared that Marduk was the supreme god of Babylon and ordered that all other gods and goddesses should be subservient to him. Hammurabi also ordered that all temples in Babylon should be dedicated to Marduk. Despite these attempts to consolidate the pantheon, the Mesopotamian religion remained polytheistic. The various gods and goddesses continued to be worshipped and venerated, and their temples remained centers of religious activity. The Rise of Monotheism The idea of monotheism, the belief in a single god, began to emerge in Mesopotamia in the second millennium BCE. This was partly due to the influence of neighboring cultures, such as the Canaanites and the Egyptians, who had monotheistic religions. However, it was also a result of the internal evolution of Mesopotamian religion. One of the earliest expressions of monotheism in Mesopotamia can be seen in the religious poetry of the Akkadian king Sargon II, who ruled in the 8th century BCE. Sargon II wrote hymns in praise of the god Asher, whom he declared to be the only god and the creator of the universe. Sargon II's monotheistic beliefs were likely influenced by the religious beliefs of neighboring cultures, such as the Zoroastrians of Persia. Another expression of monotheism in Mesopotamia can be seen in the religion of the Assyrian king Ashurnasirpal II, who ruled in the 9th century BCE. Ashurnasirpal II declared that the god Ashur was the only god and the source of all power and authority. 
He also ordered that all other gods and goddesses should be subordinate to Ashur. However, it was not until the 6th century BCE, during the reign of the Babylonian king Nebuchadnezzar II, that monotheism became the dominant religion in Mesopotamia. Nebuchadnezzar II declared that the god Marduk was the only god and the creator of the universe. He also ordered that all other gods and goddesses should be abandoned and their temples destroyed. The Babylonian captivity of the Jews, which took place in the 6th century BCE, also had a significant influence on the development of monotheism in Mesopotamia. The Jews, who had a monotheistic religion, were taken to Babylon as captives and exposed to Mesopotamian culture and religion. This led to a synthesis of Jewish and Mesopotamian religious beliefs, which later gave rise to the religion of Judaism. The Legacy of Ancient Mesopotamian Religion The religion of ancient Mesopotamia had a significant influence on many later religions, including Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Many of the concepts and beliefs of Mesopotamian religion, such as the idea of a hierarchy of gods, the afterlife, and the concept of sin and redemption, can be seen in these later religions. The Mesopotamian religion also left a lasting legacy in the arts and literature of the ancient world. The Epic of Gilgamesh, one of the earliest works of literature in the world, was written in Mesopotamia and reflects many of the religious beliefs and practices of the time. Mesopotamian art and architecture, such as the ziggurat, also had a significant influence on the art and architecture of later civilizations.